Hello everyone, this is Zuri. Welcome to my art channel and another art tutorial in Procreate. And we're here following up with the watercolor botanical series where I decided to add a tutorial of a snake plant. Um, like I mentioned in the first video, not to make the video so long, I decided to do a two-part tutorial. So if you have not watched the first part, go ahead and find the link in the description and um, where I draw the snake plant. And this is part two of this tutorial where I will be giving my digital art a realistic watercolor finish. I will be sharing the hex codes I'll be using along with the brushes along um, during this tutorial and I'll begin painting the base and the legs for which I have decided to apply solid color and the reason is because I want the base and the legs not to have any transparency as it would with a watercolor brush. Since I'm just using the mono line brush, I'll be able to go around the shapes and just draw the color instead of manually painting like I will have to do when I use the watercolor brushes. And I will just repeat the same process with the legs and as well with the soil inside the base. Alright, so the next thing I'm going to do is add a new layer for the eyes and the mouth and um, of the base while still using the monoline brush. And all I have to do is tap and this will be enough to have a perfect circle for the eyes because that's how the monoline brush is. That's, that's the shape um, using the monoline brush. And remember to have a pretty curvy line free of wiggle for the mouth. All you have to do is draw it and then hold the pencil and this will allow you to edit the shape. Alright, my next step will be to add a new layer on top of the base and on top of the legs and I'm going to be turning these two layers into a clipping mask because I'm going to use these two to add the shades on the base and on the legs. All right, and to add some shadow on the base, I'm gonna be using the Soft Blend brush from the airbrushing set. And you already have that brush. I'm gonna go ahead and add some shade on the right side of the base and on the bottom. And also I'm gonna add some shade like behind the legs.
for the legs i'll be using the transform tool and i'm going to set it up on rectangle that way i can do a selection only of the right side of the leg and when i add my texture shadow this is going to make the leg look like they have sides instead of just looking flat also the brush i'll be using to make the legs of the base look like they have texture is called the artist crayon and you can find this brush in the sketching set and you already have this brush in your procreate brush library All right, now that I am done with the legs, I'm gonna go ahead and go back to the clipping mask of the base and I'm gonna add some, a little light area on the left side of the base. And since I don't want the base to look like it have a rough texture like the legs, I'm just gonna use the soft blend brush inside the airbrush inset um, to do the lining and the shading of the base. All right, now it's time to paint the leaves of the snake plants. And as always, I'm going to be separating my layers into my leaves into two separate layers. Um, that way it's easier to shade them later with a clipping mask. And for a snake plant, it's really easy to do this because all I have to do is skip and um, one, skip one in the middle and put those in one layer. And then on the next layer, put the other three.
all right next i'm gonna go ahead and add a new layer on top of each of the layers that have the leaves on it and turn those two into a clipping mask and what i'm going to do is add some shading on the right side of the leaves And the brush I have chosen to do the shading on the leaves is called Soft Airbrush and you can find this one in the airbrushing set on your Procreate brush library. You already have this brush. Um, don't forget to shade the bottom of the leaves and the right side as I have said for the light to come from the left side. And I am done adding the shade for the first three leaves that were on the first mask. Um, and now I'm going to go ahead and repeat the same process for the clipping mask of the second set of leaves. A very important step I like to do when I'm shading the leaves is, especially when I have like leaves that are twisted, I use the transform tool and then tap on freehand and select the part that I'm shading of the leaf. That way it looks individual from, from the front of the leaves. Like for example, I am selecting this part right now, right here. Close it in. And once you do that, you go back to your brush and you can only shade that area that you chose with the transform tool. Since the watercolor brushes have transparency, I'm going to go ahead and go back on the base layer and with my erases, I'm going to erase this part right here that is showing through the leaves. To add the spots for the leaves of the snake plant, I'm going to go in my inking set of brushes and choose the thylacine brush. And we are still using the same clipping mask we added earlier to shade the plants. We're going to be using those clipping masks this time for the spot and one more time. So don't merge those layers just yet.
All right, now it's time to add the yellow line on the border of the leaf of the snake plant. And for that, I'm gonna change my brush and I will go stay in the inking set of brushes, but now go all the way to the top and click on the mercury brush. And again, we're still using the same clipping mat we added earlier. All right, the next step I'm going to do is add a new layer and I'm gonna place that layer under everything I already painted because this layer is gonna be used for the background. It's gonna be a watercolor background. And if you don't have a watercolor brush set, you can always go to the water brush set in your Procreate brush library and pick um, the wet sponge or the wet glaze or the wash brush and those were really good to make background for the watercolor art All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and add some splashes around and I'm just using the same colors I already used in my art. If, uh, again, if you don't have any watercolor brush sets, go on the water brush set and remember you have the water flakes right there or the matte splash and you can use those to add splashes around your art. I like to put each of my splashes on separate layers, that way I can be certain of the placement and the size of each of them. And then once I'm sure I like where they are and the size of them, I just merge all the layers together. To add the bleed in the background as in real watercolor, I'm gonna use the water bleed from the watercolor brush set. And you're going to choose a color that is slightly darker than the background and go around the borders to create this bleeding effect around the border.
All right, and we are done with this watercolor snake plan. I hope you found some value in this two-part tutorial. Don't forget to find the link in the description to watch part one, Draw Snake Plan in Procreate. And if you enjoyed, please remember to like this video, share, and subscribe to my channel for more helpful Procreate tutorials. Thank you for watching and see you next time.